All right, uh, welcome to another Start to Continue video. This is kind of an unboxing, although everything is already out of the box, so it's going to be super quick. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys about a fix to get your Keurig 2.0 to uh, recognize any kind of pod you throw in there. Right now, if your pod uh, doesn't have this uh, ring around it, the machine's not going to recognize it like this. It won't work. So I have a quick fix, and it's permanent, and you never have to worry about it. You don't have to, like, cut this one off and tape it onto here. It's set it and forget it. It's on there forever. So it's going to be super quick. Let's get at it. Let's open this thing up and see what the deal is. If you look in here, these things have a sensor in there now. There's that little bugger. And that's the thing that's going to be uh, looking for that ring around every pod. Uh, so all we got to do now is undo or unscrew these two Phillips screws and we'll take the hood off. So let's do that. We'll take those two screws out right now. Alright, so those two, two screws are out. Just one, two, and that makes this hood on top uh, able to come off. I still got that little decal on there. Hood comes right off. So there it is with the hood off. If you look back here, there's a big pile of wires coming out of the back. And all you got to do is find the green wire and cut the green wire. And that green wire is what uh, powers the sensor. And once that's disconnected, it will never care about whatever pod you put in ever again. So just cut that. And even if you're worried about if you cut the wrong wire, you could always just... Uh, you know, put the wire back together again if you're really concerned. The only other thing that you might want to do for this is uh, some people put a magnet in here and that tricks the machine into thinking that this lever has come all the way down. And when the lever's all the way down, the machine thinks uh, one of the big the big pods are in for the, car the carafe. Um, so you're able to get all these different sizes in the menu. So the only other thing is this, in that hole there, once you push this down, you can see that little lever down in the hole move. So all you'd have to do is just stick a screw in this hole when this is pushed down, and this will stay down. Or if you're in a hurry, just throw a toothpick down there. But you could leave a screw in there and let it live in there, and this uh, lever will always be down, and you'll have every size available to you. I don't know why you'd want to take a single pot and try to brew 16 ounces out of it. It tastes like watery garbage, but that's the other hack. So hopefully that helps you. This super quick and uh, permanent solution. And uh, check out our podcast, Start to Continue Podcast. Thank you.